What's this? Why, thank you, Garfield. Mmm, delicious. Mm. What is it? Dog food. Ugh, quick, give me something to drink. Tabasco sauce. Quick, give me something to drink. Goldfish water. Quick, give me an antidote. Dog food again. Quick, get me a drink. This could go on for days. Oh, more Tabasco! I'm burning up! Quick, give me something to drink! Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you want For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care Eat and be lazy, kids, and someday you'll have your own show, too. Here it is, Garfield, the Polecat Flats Dude Ranch. We could have gone to Rome, Acapulco, Maui. Where does John pick? Why, the middle of nowhere. <laughs> This is a real working ranch. We'll get to experience what it's like to, to live a simple, clean life out here where men are men. Translation, John is paying them major bucks for the privilege of being a ranch hand so that he can meet women. And incidentally, what's a pole cat? Well, howdy, ma'am. I was just wondering... <laughs> This is what happens when you put a 10-gallon hat on a 5-gallon head. Time to get up! You can't do a decent day's work if you're gonna sleep till noon. It's still dark outside. Wild horses couldn't get me up. Get up! You good for nothing saddle bombs and get your britches over to the cookhouse for breakfast or we'll feed it to the coyotes. Breakfast! Breakfast? Don't just lay there, you good for nothing saddle bum. You heard the man. Oh, I doubt they serve animals in the cookhouse, Garfield. I'll bring you back some breakfast. No animals in. Kindly, ma'am. Garfield. Ah, uh, this is the ranch foreman, Cactus Jake. Jake, this is a uh, uh, friend of mine. Yeah, your friend don't say much, does he? Oh, he, yes, he's the strong, silent type. He just does what he wants. <laughs> I think I'll take a little stroll before lunch. Danger, keep out. Untamable outlaw bronc. This is the orneriest horse in Polecat Flats. What's a polecat? You can't get me. No excitement here. I think I'll go see what John's doing. This is a horse. This is a front and this is the back. Don't get them confused. Well, say you're a couple of mighty cute little fillies. 
Now we got some calves to separate from this herd, and I think we'll have the best dressed dude show us how it's done. Huh? What? Well, wait, wait. I didn't come here to polecat flats for this. <laughs> what is a polecat? Don't any of you know? Nice cows. Easy cows. That's a, that's a good cow. This isn't so hard. Well, uh, get along there, little doggy. Got your fancy duds all soiled. What a shame. <sighs> Easy there, Duke. I am so tired. Cactus Jake said we have to whitewash the corrals. I need a little sleep. Mm, poor John. Cactus Jake has really given him a bad time. I guess you belong over at the corral. This is my good deed for the year. Maybe Jake's horse would like some company for lunch. Pasture for two, please. What's that strange smell? This is the whitewash for the corral. Hmm. I think Cactus Jake deserves a taste of his own medicine. Now there ain't nothing complicated about whitewashing a corral. There's plenty of brushes here. After you finish, muck out the dairy barn. <laughs> oh, whoa, you ornery coyotes! What's the matter with you? Hold it! Yo! Oh! Hey! That ain't my horse! Who went and painted him white like this? Garfield? What's that smell? <laughs> You know, maybe this wasn't the brightest idea I ever had. I can explain everything. <laughs> no, the joke's on me, ain't it? <laughs> Didn't think you had it, in you? Uh, neither did I. Phew, I smell polecat. What is a polecat? Polecat's another word for skunk, you know. Well, that answers my question. We've uh, got to be getting home, uh, Garfield. But first, we have to make a slight change. You know, Garfield, I sure had a good time on this vacation. Anything you need back there? Could we stop somewhere for a case or two of roll-on deodorant? It's morning. Time to blast the farm animals awake. My, don't they look... Peaceful. <laughs> Gosh, I love this job. <laughs> Morning, Wade. That sure was some windstorm we had last night. I'll say, this whole shed almost blew down. 
I'm gonna go read to the chicks. I think they'll like this book of ancient Greek and Roman myths. How utterly educational. Well, I better not keep him waiting. See you later. Orson, do you think the shed is safe? I guess that answers my question. So, Hercules, the strongest man in the world, set off for the swamp to battle the dreaded Hydra. What's a Hydra? I think firemen hook their hoses to it to pump water. It's a giant snake monster with nine heads. That's pretty hard to believe, Orson. I thought you said these stories were true. No, I said they were myths. A myth is a story from ancient history. Some parts might be true, but mostly a myth was a way of explaining the unexplainable. Speaking of unexplainable... Hey, Orson, you reading another one of your silly books? This book teaches heroism and courage. <laughs> well, you're gonna need some. I just saw your brothers coming up the road. Uh, oh, no. Not my brothers again? It's too bad you aren't as strong as Hercules. Yeah, then nobody could push you around. I wish I were like Hercules. Then my brothers wouldn't treat me like a runt. Boy, that would be great. Hooray for Hercules! Hooray! Hercules is our hero! Yay! Hercules, our hero, he's the strongest and the best. He eats bad guys for breakfast, he grows hairs on his chest, he fights for what is right, his conscience points the way, he never lifts a finger, except to save the day, he handles himself like a hero, he never takes a fall, if you don't believe me, just follow the bouncing ball, no one can defeat this wondrous pig of steel, it's hard to believe this muscle bound pig is real, they just can't stop him. With a smile, a victory on his face. It's Hercules putting the bad guys in their place. Hercules. are here. Where would you like your mail forwarded? I needn't run from the likes of them. I shall face them in combat. Too bad. I always liked Orson. You guys leave quietly, and I won't have to use my brute strength. <laughs> What's Orson up to? Quite what more will polarize him. Hooray, Orson! And keep out of the shed. I haven't finished rebuilding it yet. <laughs> I'm warning you. If I get mad, I'm just liable to do something like this!
I warned him it wasn't safe. Our brother did that. He has gotten stronger. Nice seeing you, Austin, but we gotta go now. <laughs> so long, Austin. No hard feelings, okay? <laughs> Know what? You don't need big muscles if you have a big brain. Of course, there are times when big muscles come in handy. someplace, Odie is yapping and hanging his tongue out the window and slurping. <laughs> and you're getting mad, Garfield. We're going to visit John's cousin Al. Almost as exciting as watching paint dry. How did you guys learn to behave? <laughs> Calm down, it's only another 300 miles. Nice to see you again, cousin. Well, thanks for inviting us, Al. You remember my son, Roscoe? Roscoe, say hello to Cousin John. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Isn't he polite? Roscoe's just the best behaved kid in the world. Roscoe, why don't you play with the kitty and doggy while I show John some slides of my vacation? Vacation slides? Oh, gee, you don't... I just got in 16 rolls I shot at the Cheese Dip Festival in Dubuque. How exciting. Kitty, would you like to see my lab? No. Good. Come with me. I got an A in advanced thermonuclear physics. I can dissect proton particles. I know how to make toast. This is my lab. Like it? Depends. What's the possibility of getting a chocolate malted? I've been inventing since I was five, when I built the first solar-powered skateboard. Here. I want to show you my latest invention. It's a completely transistorized, full-function cybernetic robot. I'll program it to pet kitty. There. There's your kitty. Pet him. Quick, slurp him. Maybe he'll rust. Uh oh <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm gonna go find some conditioner. Do something about these split ends. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Help! Assistance! Mayday! Medic! Do you read me? Help would be neat about now. Anybody? Okay, now here's Marge waving. Here's Marge waving with the other hand. Here's more of Marge waving. This is fascinating. Animals? Anything? But I did come to a complete stop, officer. <laughs> the, the kitty tried to steal my, my robot! Bad kitty! Bad! You got a kid like this in your neighborhood and you hate him too. Admit it. Garfield, how could you? Yeah, it's all right, Roscoe. Daddy will buy you more parts for your robot. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Now you go in and play nicely with Roscoe. No excuses. You're a guest. He won't let me get a word in edgewise. Of course, if I could talk, it would 
be easier. Trying to steal my candy, kitty? Oh, yes, you were. But I'm not mad. In fact, I'm going to give you a nice ride. Where would you like to go? Depends. Where are you not? Maybe you'd like to go to Mars? My doctor told me not to travel, especially off this planet. Good boy, Odie. Kill. <laughs> Ready for countdown. And this would be Marge waving to the north. Now, here's a real change of pace. Marge waving with both hands. This is uh, exciting, Al. If you think that's exciting, the next batch is Marge waving in 3D. Put on these glasses. Three, two, one, ignition! Here's a fireworks display we saw. That looks realistic. Garfield? That's it, Garfield. If you can't play nicely, I'm taking you home. I'll give you everything I own if you do. Now, before we go, you go in and apologize to Roscoe for wrecking his things. I'm not leaving until you do. Sorry about the damages. Oh, it's okay. Come back soon. I have 53 more trays of slides. Uh, yeah. Come on, boys. I can't take you anywhere. Roscoe's such a nice, polite young man and always learning. In fact, he'll be learning for a long time. Yep. If those are long life batteries, he'll be learning for about three days. Oh, let me go! <laughs> 